So, it seems like everyone else on YouTube has made a fidget spinner, apart from me. So it seems that everyone else on YouTube has pretty much made a fidget spinner. These things are going nuts at the moment, I've no idea why but everyone seems to be making them. I thought it was only appropriate for me to make you a fidget spinner. Not just any fidget spinner. A pencil one. Had to be done, right? Now, if you've seen these fidget spinners, they look something like this. And they are presumed they're to stop you fidgeting, hence the name. So, people are making them all over the place, out of all sorts of materials, metals, plastics, I don't know, you name it, there's a fidget spinner for it. But what I haven't seen yet is somebody make a pencil fidget spinner. <laughs> there's lots of cool fidget spinners out there, and um, as I say, I don't really see much relevance in it, to be fair once you kind of spun it a few times in your hand and just kind of thought, yeah, that's cool. That's kind of it, really, for me. But they seem to be taken off pretty well with the, with the kids um, and people that fidget quite a bit, I think. So um, I'm going to make you a fidget spinner and I'm going to try to do it out of pencils. Now, I've got two options here. One, I make a mould that is based around this fidget spinner. I do actually have some mould making material which I haven't used yet which I bought a little while ago. So I thought we would make two fidget spinners. One of them which we would mould and then we would cast the pencils inside the mould and then we would make another one where I would just make a blank load of pencils so, so I'd get all these pencils in here like this um, and then we would cast that and then we would have to chop out our fidget spinner from all that resin pencils. So um, I'm not really too sure how it's going to work out, bet you never guessed that. So first of all what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make this mould then we can come out, pop the fidget spinner out and then we've got our mould which then we can base our fidget spinner around. But then obviously we have to drill out for bearings which I have purchased some bearings. So um, here's the bearings I've got for, I think, skateboards. Skateboards, yeah. Skateboard bearings, I'll put the link down below where I got these from. You probably can't see them very well there. But they're pretty good ones, I think. And hopefully we'll end up with two cool fidget spinners. It's almost like blancmange. You really wouldn't tell the difference. Right, now we wait and see what happens. I'm not sure if I've done this mould correctly because my fidget spinner's just disappeared. 
um, and I'm not too sure if that's supposed to happen. Nevertheless, it's all a learning curve. I've never molded or done any, made any molds before, so uh, if it doesn't work out, I'll look online and see if I can figure out how to do it. Either way, we should be able to come up with some uh, version of a pencil fidget spinner. So let's see uh, what happens when we uh, when this is all dried up and set. Okay, so this has been uh, left overnight now, and it's all uh, sealed up. Nice blamange. So I'm just going to get this out of here. Right, got that out there. It was a little bit of a chore, but there we go. Oh look, and there's our little fidget spinner in there. So. Um, Right, so we've just got to get this out of here now. So I was kind of imagining it to be this side, but I think that's probably going to be the base, and this is going to be the top. So I've got to try and get this out carefully. Uh, so I'm probably going to use... I'm going to cut it out, I think. Okay, so I've cleaned this up a little bit, chopped out all the bits and pieces that we didn't really need and tried to clean it up as much as possible. Um, it looks a little bit messy, but I don't really think that matters too much because, you know, we just want a rough idea of a shape of a fidget spinner so that we can kind of mould it into our pencil one. So the idea from here um, now is to kind of fill this with little pencil pencils bits like this and then fill it with resin there's not going to be many pencils in there but there'll be a few um, that's quite cool actually so um, what we need to do now is I'll probably take this side and then we need to need to kind of carve out an area probably on the bandsaw of uh, the fidget spinner uh, so just get that carved out like that and then uh, yeah well, I, don't, I don't think we get two out of that we might get two if I did one there maybe one there yeah I'll, I'll probably try and start on the corner then and see if we can maybe get two spinners out of that might be able to do that Okay, so we've got this fidget spinner which has uh, come out of the mould that I made. Um, and yeah, it's okay, um, needs a bit of cleaning up as you can see. So I'm going to now sort of cut this in the bandsaw and just get the shape that we want out of it and then I'm going to start to sort of sand it down a bit. Obviously I've marked out uh, this one as well, just want to see which one is going to be better really. So we're going to make a couple, um, although I could get two out of here, I'm probably just going to make two of them and just see which one kind of works out the best really.
Okay folks, we are getting there with these fidget spinners. They're looking uh, not too bad actually. I'm fairly chuffed with them. They're looking all right. So um, I've done a lot of sanding on these and I'm gonna take some micro mesh now and I'm gonna sort of finish it off with some micro mesh and, uh, and then a uh, bit of a polish. And then we're uh, hopefully have our fidget spinners working. This one seems to spin better than that one. So, there they are guys. I've joined the Fiji Spinner Club with my two pencil Fiji Spinners. Fidget Spinners. Because I presume you use them if you're fidgeting a lot. You could just fidget with the spinner. Yeah. Was that right? I don't know. There we go. So uh, they didn't turn out too badly. Uh, this one seems to spin a lot better than this one, but I think it's just the bearing, I think. Um, or it might be just a little bit off center. Uh, but this one seems to go on forever and ever, which is, um, I suppose, what you want really, isn't it? But, um, yeah, they're not too bad. So this one is, I, I don't know what really is the better one, the mold or the one that we cut out. I think they both kind of turned out um, okay, I think this one here is the mould one, and I would probably say that that's the one that spins a bit better, so if I'm going to pick one, I would say the mould one is probably the better one because it's got the exact shape from the original fidget spinner. Whereas this one, I've had to cut out and try to make the shape myself, and that's probably why it's a little bit off balance, hence why it doesn't spin as well as this one. So, I think the mould actually turned out okay. Uh, so I think I think the mould is the winner. Definitely the winner of the Spidgy Widget Finner Spinner. What? Fidget winner. Spinner. No. Fidget Spinners. The winner of the Fidget Spinner. <laughs> That's a tongue twister, isn't it? Yeah, I thought I had to get on the bandwagon and that because everyone's doing them and I haven't seen anyone do a pencil fidget spinner yet. So I had to do this had to do this, had to try and get it in there for you. So you can see, so there we go, there they are, the fidget spins. So I hope you enjoyed watching and give you some sort of ideas of how to make fidget spinners because uh, everyone else in the world hasn't made one yet. And, um, and you enjoyed watching me make them. And you enjoyed the video. So, uh, Thanks very much for, for joining me on the channel again and I really appreciate all your comments and likes uh, and shares and everything else. And I'm so overwhelmed with all the new subscribers that have come over, I'm uh, really chuffed. Uh, thanks very much guys and girls and uh, <clears throat> for, for joining me on the channel. I do hope that I uh, inspire some of you and give you some ideas. Um, and hopefully help some of you get into wood turning or woodworking. Because that is the kind of idea. Um, don't forget a uh, Makers Central. I know it's a long way away, uh, but I, will, I do want to try to keep to, you know, giving you guys updates. Um, and um, yeah, we've had a really overwhelming response, but there's still lots of you that I'd love for you to come over and show your interest. So if you wouldn't mind clicking uh, through on the link below, it's the website. And then when you get to the website, 
it just there's two boxes there one of them is for exhibitors if you're interested in exhibiting the other one is is if you're interested in coming along and that's all it is really it's just for us to see the kind of interest and then what we'll do is we'll email you um, a bit nearer the time once the website's live and you can buy tickets uh, as i say there are limited tickets going to be available for this show um, and we've had quite a, a, a good response already so i reckon we're going to sell out i really do reckon we're going to sell out so um Show us your interest, give us a like on the Facebook page if you wouldn't mind. If you could follow us on Facebook, that would be really great because we're going to be putting all makers on there. You know, and it, this is about all makers, it's not about me, it's about every maker in the world. I want to try and get together as many makers as possible and bring them all into one hub so that we can all go and meet them, say hello, do a bit of, you know, mingling and, and um, there's going to be some Q&As there on some of them. Um, some of these makers you're never going to see again, you know, and I'm trying to pull them in together. So, um, you know, so I'm really working hard and so is my team working really hard to contact these makers. And with a bit of luck, you'll see pretty much, well, as many makers as we can get together for you on this event. So um, show us, if you could show us some support and, and, and let us know that you're going to come. Um, and um, I know some of you live quite far away, but you know, hey, it might you could make it into a holiday. You know, make it a trip. I know there's already loads of people from the states coming over just for this event, which is amazing. And I really do thank those guys and girls that have already committed to say that they're coming over um, because um, it's going to be fantastic. So if you ca if you can show us a little bit of love on the Facebook page just to follow us, and again, you'll just get updated then on the things that are happening, the new people that are turning up. Um, and the, some of the makers videos that we're going to stick on there. So that'd be really cool. And then obviously if you can look at the website as well. I say it's just a landing page, but it just gives you a bit of info. And then also you can submit a form which tells us that you're interested. That's it for now. Um, so, um, but we've got so many things to tell you guys and I'm going to make it as exciting for you as possible. And I'm trying going to try to cater for as many people as I can. So hopefully, you know, um, all of you will will uh, will like this event. Yeah, you can't not like it, really. I mean, you know, even if you don't like me or what I do, then there's going to be a maker there that you're going to want to see or that you do like. That's the idea, really. That I'm going to mix it up with all sorts of different makers from around the world. Um, anyway, that's enough waffle because this is not waffle Wednesday. And um, but um, again, if I don't get the updates in on the Fridays as well as the Wednesdays, I know half of you don't watch Wednesdays, so you're going to miss out. So that's why I'm giving you an update on Fridays as well after my projects. Hope you don't mind. So thanks very much for watching uh, this video. Thanks very much for sticking with me on the fidget spinners. And uh, like kind of Mickey Mouse ears, aren't they? Like Mickey Mouse ears. Hope you have a great weekend, I'll put stills up at the end, and I will see you, or some of you, on Wednesday.